This is how you can record, live stream your PowerPoint presentations using OBS Studio. I'm gonna show you how to set up your OBS from scratch and add your PowerPoint presentation and how to present it for your presenter view and set it up correctly with all the audio from your PowerPoint if you wanna use audio as well, all sent to OBS Studio. Or if you wanna use OBS to have all your scenes and presentations with PowerPoint and live stream them either to a live streaming platform or present them in a webinar into Zoom. The very first step is open up PowerPoint and open up your PowerPoint presentation that you wanna share within OBS and record. Once your PowerPoint is ready for a presentation, you wanna to go to the top here and go to slideshow at the very top bar here. And you wanna click from the beginning. So if you've got the PowerPoint version where it's the offline on desktop, that's gonna give you the option where you get the controls and the slideshow. So you've got two monitors or well, you can do it on one monitor if you hide it behind it. So now your PowerPoint is gonna have three windows open. It's gonna have the slideshow, the control window like this for presenting in notes, and also just the PowerPoint project itself. So here you can see I've got the slideshow here. I can scroll through the different slides. And you can see this screen here, which is the slideshow presentation. So now we're gonna jump into OBS and build our scene. So when you open up OBS, it's gonna look like this with a blank canvas. Just note for the video that this screen capture I've got in OBS here, which I turn it on, it's just, for the video to screen record. So just ignore that. That's just so I can share the settings here for you. But your scene and your OBS will look similar like this when it's blank. It'll just have a scene under scenes and then it'll have nothing under sources. If your OBS has no scenes at all, you can go down to the plus icon below here and click add scene. As you can see, you can add as many scenes as you like. This is gonna be scene two. If I hit okay, your OBS will look similar to this where you've got a scene and next to it, is the sources. This is where our video sources and PowerPoint for our audio and visuals are gonna go. As you can see, it's blank. There's nothing in here at the moment. So we can go down to the bottom here and the plus icon in sources and click that one. We're gonna add our PowerPoint visuals first. So we're gonna scroll up and go to window capture. And then we're gonna name it PowerPoint. It's gonna open up this window here where we can choose what window of PowerPoint we wanna select. So if you scroll down here, you can see window. If we click that one, right now it's on the PowerPoint presenter view. There's three .exe versions of PowerPoint. There's the presenter view, there's the slideshow view. That's the one we wanna share for our video. There's also just the PowerPoint presentation itself. So select slideshow. And again, these options won't be available unless you have opened up PowerPoint first. If you haven't opened up PowerPoint first, it doesn't matter, you can add this in. It'll be blank and then you can come back and add them in later. So click slideshow. And there's a new feature here where you can capture the audio if you've got the latest version of OBS. So this is gonna capture the audio from the application itself. So PowerPoint and that slide. So I've got videos in this PowerPoint presentation that I'm gonna demo for you. So I'm gonna click capture audio and then I'm gonna select okay. So now your OBS should look like this. You'll have a scene that you've created and a PowerPoint with video and audio. You can see here, it's got the OBS PowerPoint recording screen that I've got there. So if I change to my slide where it has video and I click play using your digital camera or even some ways around that if you don't have a lens that can do so. What you're probably familiar with is when you click the video icon down below here and you open up your settings. And when you click on video settings here, you'll see the pop-up screen that you're probably used to right now. And you're probably familiar with the option when you scroll up here, where it says blur my background. Now, the reason that you probably wanna blur your background is so this is the video that I've got in my PowerPoint slide here. I can see I've got the controls where I can pause, play it, and all the audio is coming through into OBS. And the audio is coming through in OBS in this PowerPoint here that we created. And that's what we ticked from this capture audio, which is in beta. So if I untick that, it's gonna remove that audio source, see in the audio mixer. So that's one way of getting audio from your PowerPoint in the window capture. That's probably the most simplest way, but just keep in mind that only works for embedded videos. So, but just keep in mind that it only works for videos that are stored locally from your computer that you upload to PowerPoint. If you wanna embed a video like the video that I've got here, this video I've embedded it from a YouTube link into PowerPoint and it won't capture into OBS. So if you do wanna embed YouTube videos in your PowerPoint and capture that audio, there is another way to do that and that is capture the desktop audio. It's not the most ideal way, but it's a workaround. And to do that, you can click the plus icon down below here. You can see at the very top here, we have application audio capture beta. That's the exact same as this one that we've got here, where it says capture audio beta. 
it's just separated without the video. So that will work for this PowerPoint where we've got the video that we've got locally from our computer or any sounds in PowerPoint, but it's not gonna work for any better videos. So to get around that, you need to go to this plus icon and select audio output capture. Now here we can capture any audio from the desktop. So we can just hit that one, hit okay. And under your devices, you're gonna select whatever audio device is your main output in your computer. So for me, it's the speakers from my audio interface. So I click that one and hit okay. If I go back to that video that's embedded from YouTube on that slide, You can see on screen now that the audio is coming through by these little bars up top here. You can see it's in the red. So it's capturing that audio from my computer output. So it's one way around that. If you have an embedded link, that's one way to get the audio to come through. It's not ideal, but it is a workaround. So how you do your recording is you would have your presentation view up on one screen like this, and you have your controls here below. So you can go through your different slides and your videos. And play them. What you do is start your recording in OBS by pressing start recording. Go up to here and press play on your slides or icon down below here and you open up your settings. And when you click on video settings, and you can go back through your slides if you need to as well. Once you press stop recording, then you're gonna have your PowerPoint recording and all the sound and everything from that OBS file. And if you wanted to bring this into your video calls like Zoom, all you'd have to do is go start virtual camera. And you can see in Zoom, it's just loaded up as my camera when I choose OBS virtual camera in the settings. You can use natural lighting like for this shot here today, it's very sunny. So I'm just using a lot of natural light in my background scene. Just note though, if you wanna have a virtual camera like that in Zoom or your conference calls for your PowerPoint all done through OBS, it will work for the video with the virtual camera, but it won't work for the audio. It'll take a little bit more of an advanced routing setup where you're using a digital mixer to route all the audio which once it's set up, it's ready to go. And you basically just use your mic as an input to route the audio into that channel as your mic that you would for your talking mic into Zoom. But if you do need help with something like that or a bit more advanced setups for your presentations or your webinars, you can contact us in the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. Click on the calendar and choose an available time and date. Follow the prompts and add your information and then we'll jump on a video call and we'll be able to help you out for any of your audio and visual needs and productions.